हेलो यस मैम यस चिल्ड्रन ओके लेट्स बिगिन लेट्स नॉट वेस्ट टाइम नाउ ओके मैम can you see the screen children yes ma'am yes ma'am okay now you have to state these terms based on what we studied in our previous class okay on this chapter geometry you have to state this make a this make this figure in your notebook and answer please this is point 0 
the line segment AB is here. From A to B is the line segment AB. Are you listening, Lassia? Or yes, Ritesh, or... Ritesh, please listen if you have not attended the previous class. This shaded part is the segment, right? The portion between the, the region between the chord and the part of a circle. Okay? This AB is the chord and this is the arc of a circle. So the A region between that is called segment. Okay? Okay, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. And this is the center of a circle. If I make radii here, this is one radius, this is another radius, this is another radius, this is another radius. So twice the radius becomes the diameter. One radius and two di second radius joined like this, forming a chord which is passing through the center makes the diameter, right? Diameter is also called the longest chord. Okay, Sritej? And the region here between the two radii and the arc, this portion is called, this shaded portion is called sector. Okay? Okay. Uh, those who have not attended the previous class. Okay. And these are the radii. OE is the radius. OD is the radius. Okay. The plural form of radius is radii. This is line segment O to C is radius. O is the center. Okay. So O is the center. AB is a chord. Line segment AB is a chord. ALB is a arc. This is the arc A and B. Right? AEDC. AEDC is this arc. AEDC. This bigger arc. Okay? This one. Then OC is another radius. AC is the diameter. AC is the diameter. Segment E. Sector EOD is this shaded region. Segment ALB is this lower region, the shaded one. Okay. Now, next question is, children, find the radius if the diameter is given 8 centimeters. Um, radius is 4 centimeters. Yes. The radius will be... Ma'am, it will be 4 centimeters. Yes. So, radius is always half of the diameter. If, it, if this is 8, then this will be 4 centimeters. Okay, last year. Radius is always half. Radius is half of the diameter. Okay, Ma'am, radius, the... Ma uh, radius is yes. half of the diameter. Yes. It is uh, center of the circle, no, ma'am? Diameter. Diameter Sorry. is a... Look here. Rod is at the center of Look the here. Circle. Diameter is a chord like this, okay? Which joins the boundary, two points on the boundary of the circle and it passes through the center. Okay. 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 This is line A, B passing through the center is called the diameter. Okay. And how is this made? This is radius. O to A is a radius. Okay. O to A is radius. O to B is also the radius. Okay. If I add them, what will I get? O A and O B. I will get A B. O A and O B will give me complete A B line. O A and O B. If I join these two, I will get complete A B line. And radius will be R and one more R. This radius also and this radius also. So this will be oh. twice the radius. Okay. And we, uh, and we can uh, uh, we can increase it, ma'am. We can increase it. Um, means you are saying that here center is. Um, Diameter and you are saying here also a diameter. Bear with me. This O is the center. AC is the diameter. Its diameter is made by two radius. This is one radius. 
This is another okay, radius. Both the radii are joined in a line, and it's making a diameter. Okay. Okay. Okay, ma'am. I understood. Okay, that's nice. So, if you want to find the radius, what will you do? Radius is half of the diameter. Half of the diameter. By two. Okay. So, whatever is the diameter, divide by two, you will get the radius. Okay. Okay. okay ma Similarly, find the diameter if you are given the radius. Now, you, here you are given the radius 6 centimeters. How will you find the diameter? Ma'am, 6 into 2 to 12. Exactly. In the diameter will be twice. Twice the radius. radius. Twice the radius. Twice the radius. Yes, ma'am. So, that okay. is radius that we are given 6. So, 2 into so 6 is 12 centimeters. 12, 12 centimeters. Okay. Okay, ma'am. Uh, please go through the lesson. Okay. If you have doubts, you can ask. Okay, so this is a small I'm chapter. I'm getting some disturbance from, from someone. What, uh, Rishit? I didn't get you. Ma'am, I'm getting disturbing from some so someone, ma'am. They are in unmute. Uh, children, please. Uh, mute yourself, but I'm I cannot uh, hear anyone's disturbance here. It's like a mixer, uh, mixer yes, ma'am. It's like a drill song. I don't know, but yeah, I'm not getting all that. Okay, uh, children, please mute yourself, and when you have to ask something, then only you can unmute. Okay. Okay. So this was a small chapter. This was just a recap of the chapter. And now, shall we move to another lesson today? Yes, ma'am. Hello. Are you still you want to practice on this lesson? Do you want to practice yeah. more on this? Yes, ma'am. I want to practice. Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, last year, first you listen, uh, first you go through the previous uh, uh, video, okay? Uh, first, you go through the previous video, then we can you can decide whether you want to practice or not. Okay, ma'am. Okay. Ma'am, what is the lesson name? This lesson? Yes, ma'am. This is basic geometrical ideas. Basic, basic geometry. Okay, okay, ma'am. So, go through the lesson first. Okay, children. Now, moving to another. Let's move ahead. So today we have decimals, right? We will be going with decimals. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Now decimals is what? What is decimals? Can anyone tell? Ma'am, the points. What point? Uh, means... Uh, I know about it, but I can't, I can't tell. Uh, Give me one example. Give me one example. Where do we see decimals generally? Generally, we will see... Like height. suppose we go to a shop and the shopkeeper you buy you buy a pencil, okay? The shopkeeper says it is for two rupees fifty paise. So how will you do that? Two rupees fifty paise. Two point five zero. Two. Yes, ma'am. So what do we see here? Decimal. Or else the weight of the vegetables or fruits will take the shop. Weight of vegetables also. Suppose you purchase some tomatoes and the vendor says it's 500 grams. So how will you write 500 grams in terms of kg? 0.1.50. Uh, so, so in terms of kg, you will write 0. 0.5. 0. 0. 500 kg. Okay. Okay, ma'am. So these are the very common places where we see decimals. Okay, now decimals has some place value. For example, yes, ma'am, exercise 2.3 or like that. Exercise 2.3 is 
Based on that, okay. Now see, when we see the place values here, children, now you, you have seen always uh, we have units place first. Okay, we call it ones place also. Ones place. Place. Then tens, tens place. place. Then we have hundreds place. Then hundreds place. place thousand. Ten thousand. Ten thousand. Ten thousand. Lack okay. and lack of speak when you Sorry. are asked to speak. Okay. Okay, ma'am. So, and th these are the places which starts from uh, right sides and move towards the left. Okay. Ones, tens, hundred, thousand. And on the right side, we have one tenth. We have place values like tens, tens hundred, okay, hundred. Ma'am, and we do not have a uh, ones, ma'am. Once we do not have one, yes. so once is there in the middle only. So we have here tenth. This is not ten. This is tens, and this is tenths. Hundred thousand. Ma'am, it's just yes. looking like a number line of integers. Exactly. Okay. So we yes. write it as one by ten. We write it as one by hundred. We write it as one by thousand. Okay. And this side, how do we do? Ones places. Once only. One. Then tens, then hundreds, Oops. then thousands, Oops. and so on, what we studied. Okay, yes. 10,000, lakh, 10 lakh, whatever. Right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. And similarly, if you have, if we are asked, like to write, uh, write each of the following as decimals. Now, suppose you are given this number, two ones and five tens. How will you write this? Two ones. Two ones means two, two. is at the ones place. Yes. Yeah. And five tens. Five tens means five is five at the tenth tenth place. Yes. Two so point five. five. Okay. So then you add them up, you get two point five. But how do you get this point five? Because whenever we divide any number with ten, we put decimal point after one digit, leaving one digit from yes, the right side. Okay, we put decimal here. So this becomes zero point five. And when it gets added with two. 2 plus 0 0.5 gives me 2.5. 2.5. Okay. Yes. Similarly, here also we have 30 and 1 tenth. So 30. Okay. And 1 30. tenth. So 1 by 10. So 1 by 10 means 0 0.1. So 30 yes. plus 0 0.1 is 30.1. 30. Okay. You understood this? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, same way we have these also. Now suppose the expansion is given here, thirty plus six 36 plus two, by 10. Point two. So, um, so you will all you will add them up. Thirty six plus zero point two, so that is thirty six point two. Point two. Six hundred. you you tell me for this last year. Yes, ma'am. Plus two plus eight by ten. What will you get here? Six hundred plus. 2 plus 8 by 10. Don't put that in your mouth. You're putting something in your mouth. Don't do that. I'm not putting them. Um, Add them up. Add them all. Yes, ma'am. 30, 36. Uh, till there. No, I'm talking about this one. 600 plus 2 plus 8 by 10. Okay, six hundred. Okay, six hundred and two point eight. Six hundred two point point eight. Good. Okay, so that was just an example. Okay, now we have the exercise part here. Write the following as numbers in the given table. Okay. Now, so tens, ones. Okay. What do we have to do here? Okay. It's so confusing. Ah, oh, it's confusing. Let it be. Ma'am, I got it, ma'am. Okay, we'll start from that. And uh, while reading the numbers beyond the decimal point, we need we need not to say like uh, uh, sixty eight point three five. Yes. We should just read the number as six eight. 
Yes,
My father Please installed iron. Please to your papa, mama, yeah. so that they can rectify it. Yeah. Do that. They have okay, rectified it. Next time, don't give me this reason that my mic no, is not No, no. They, they, they told no, they, they told it will be sorted in two days. Two no, or so three it's, days. It's been more than a week now. Okay. Okay, it will be sorted. Now. Please do that. Okay. Mom, can you see me? Yes. Who's this? Who's this? Advika? Yes, I Advika. I can see your show me your work. Bring it more closer to the camera. Okay, yes. Yes, good Advika. You have done for 10.6. Okay. Okay. Uh, Ashwat, show me your work. Mom, one. Lasya, show me your work. Mom, one minute, mom. Yes. Okay, let's see. Now see the question number three. Write each of the following as decimals. Now how will you write the seven tenths? Seven tenth. So seven is at tenths place, right? Yes, Charvi. Yes, Charvi, what are you showing me? Okay, okay, good beta. Very good. Okay, now see question number C and question number 3. That's 7 tenth. 7 tenth means this is at the tenth place where we in the denominator I have tenth. Okay, I'll show you one more. 600.8. This is written like this 600.8. So this is simple. 600.8, you can say like this. Okay, this is not the actual way of writing uh, in words. Okay, now two tenths and nine tenths. This is the actual way. Now, how will you write two tenths and nine tenths? Ma'am, uh, 20.9. Yes, two is at tenths place. Okay, one's place is zero. And nine is at tenth place. Yeah, so this become this becomes twenty point nine. Okay, now, uh, Charvik, you tell me how will you write this one hundred and two ones? Mom, it's uh, one hundred two. Yes, it's one hundred and two. Mom, point zero. Let's write. Let's start. Okay. Uh, so, when there is no decimal point, that means there is zero after the point, right? The decimal point comes at the end. Uh -huh. Now, this is 14.6. 14.6, anyone can write, okay? Mama. This is the actual way of writing in words is not like this. Now, you shouldn't yes, never write point like this, okay? Yes. Whether it should be 14 tenths and 6 tenths, Okay, or you can write one tenth, four ones, and six tenth. Okay, so the printed part is not actually uh, written correctly. You should never write it like this. Okay, in suppose if you are given fourteen point six in the exam, if you get fourteen point six and write it in words, so how will you write one tenth, four ones, and six tenths? How will you write? One tens, four, four. You will write in words four ones and six 
Mom, I can't yes. understand, ma'am. See, this is the ones place, this is the tens place, this is the tenth place. Okay. So okay. one is at the tens place, so I'm writing one tens. Four is at ones place, so I'm writing four ones. Six is at tenth place, so I'm writing six tens. Okay, ma'am. How we are writing uh, by ma'am? You are telling seven by ten, ma'am. Like that. How we can write? I can't understand the seven tenths. Now suppose I have seven tenths here. Now seven tenths means seven is at tenth place. You understood this place value. No, ma'am. You understood the place value? One place, ten place. Huh? Yes, ma'am. You you understood this, no? One place, ten yes, place, hundred place, thousand place. And when you move this side towards the right side, you have tenth place, hundredth place, thousandth place, and so on. Mm. This much you understood, last year? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Now here, if I have this 19.4, if I have this 19.419 and 4 at the 10th place here, okay, you understood how did by how did I write 19.4 here in this place value table? Yes, ma'am. Now, if I have to read this in words, if I say, Lasya, you read out this in words. I cannot see your notebook. You read it. So how will you read this? You will read one tens. Look here. One tens, nine ones, four tenth. How will you read this? One is at tens place. You will read it one, one ten. tens, nine ones. Okay, this is ones. Nine four ones, ten. four tens. Four tens. Understood? Same okay. way. Same way, if I have 10.6, if I ask you to read 10.6 in words, how will you write this? One tens, Ten, and there one is no one, there is zero tenths. in one place. So no need to mention ones, okay? There is zero, okay? And Ten, tenth. Ten place six. One tens and six tenth. One okay. ten and six tenth. Okay, no need to mention zero because zero ones is two. Okay, okay. I understood, ma'am. Did you understand? Others, okay. did you understand? Yes, because Ritej, yes. Rishit, Ashwat, yes, yes, Arvik, Soumya, yes, did you all understand this? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Now, write each of the following as decimals. Now, you have to write these as decimals. How will you write this 5 by 10? 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0.5. Okay, 0. let me ask Lasya. Lasya, how will you write this 3 plus 7 by 10? Mom? How will you write this in decimals? 3 plus 7 by 10? 3... Point seven. Three point seven. Very good. Ashwat, how will you write this? Two hundred plus sixty plus five plus one by ten. Ma'am, two six uh two hundred sixty-five point one. Very good. Two hundred sixty-five point one. Very nice. Charvik, how will you write this? Ma'am, uh this one. E. Ma'am, e. Seventy plus eight by ten. How will you write? Uh, 70 plus 8 by 10, it will be like uh, 70.8. Very good. 70.8. Now read it in words. How will you read it in words? Charvik, yes. read it in uh, words. Uh, okay. Uh, 70 10s. 70 10s. Okay. Uh, huh? 7 10. Uh, and uh, 8 10. Very good. Good. Advika, how will you write 88 by 10 in decimals? Mom, uh, Mom we are going to write point, mm -hmm. point 8, 8. 8. 8. 8. 
Hello. See, this is two digit number. This is look here. This becomes yes. eight point eight. Okay. Oh yeah. Okay, when you have one zero at the denominator, where will you put the decimal? You will leave one place from right side, and you will put the decimal point too. So this becomes eight point eight. Sritej, how will you read yes. this? Ma'am, F right. Yes. No E part. E. Ma'am, eight point eight. Yes. How will you read it? Uh, Ma'am, eight ones, eight mm -hmm. point eight tenths. Yes, eight ones and eight tenths. Yes. Okay. Now, show me the decimal representation of this four two by ten. Ma'am, four point two. Yes. Very good. Four point two. And how will you read it? Four ones, two tens. Very good. Okay. Next. Ma'am. Ashwat. Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, we should first uh, convert two into ten by multiplying by five. Mm -hmm. And same to numerator. Mm -hmm. So we will get fifteen by ten. So with uh, one point five. Okay. Okay. That's also correct. You can simply divide and check that. Okay. You can simply divide and check this. Okay. Now, tell me this. Uh, Soumya is there? Soumya, you tell me this. Soumya, you tell me this. J part. Oh, yes, ma'am. Three, three by five. Just take it as three plus three by five. Okay. So three by five, you convert this to decimal and add three to it. Yes, ma'am. One minute. Others also, please do it in your notebook. Three, three by five. Ma'am, can you give me one minute? One more. Mm -hmm. One more to do it. Convert it to decimal. What is it? What are you getting, Charge? Ma'am, I got 3.6. Yes, it's 3.6. How do you get that 3.6? Yes, we need 3 by 5. Yes, ma'am. Yes. So 3 by 5 is if you have 30 here, if you take the decimal point here. When you divide 3 by 5, you get 0 0.56 by 30, so 6. Yes. And you get 3.6. Okay? Yes. Now, uh, Soumya, Advika, do for 4, 1 by 2. Ma'am? Advika? Yes, ma'am. Do for four one by two. Represent this in decimal form. Okay. Ma I told you to split. Whenever you have a mixed fraction, you must always split it. Okay. So this can I try? Uh -huh, please try. So you four. Four point five. Yes. See this, Advika. So this yes. is 4 plus 1 by 2. 1 by 2 is half. That means it's 4 plus 0 0.5. So it becomes 4.5. Okay. Whenever you have a mixed fraction, you must split it. Yes. Um, but I did it in a different way. Uh, I just uh, moved 4 aside and converted uh, 1 by 2 into uh, 
into having a decimal uh, having a denominator as 10 so mm. i got 5 and uh, that we also do yes ma'am so that we also you can do 5 by 10 ma'am uh, we can also do uh, the mixed fraction into improper fraction and like oh, that that. Is, that is also one more way of doing okay you can convert it to improper fraction you can find the equivalent fractions also okay yes ma'am okay ha huh. that also you can do see the next one here question number 5 write the following decimals as fractions reduce the fraction to lowest form now you have to convert this decimal to fraction form first and then reduce it to lowest form. I'll show you one. 0 0.6 can be written as 6 by 10 because there is decimal after one place from the right side. Yes, ma'am. It becomes 6 by 10. Now, 6 by 10 can be reduced to lowest form. These no, both are even five. numbers. So, you can reduce it with 2. 2, 3 is 6. 3 by 5. Answer. So, the lowest form is 3 by 5. Yes. Now, 3 by 5 cannot be reduced further. Right? Similarly, yes, you can do for 2.5. So, 2.5 can be written as 25 by 10 like this. And you can yes, reduce yes. it by 5. 5, 5 is a 5. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Now, children, please try for the next one. 3.8. Ma'am, you give me answer for 3. Do all. Children, please do. Yes, I'll ask you one by one. Last year you tell me for 3.8. Convert it to. Ma'am, wait a minute. I'm doing, ma'am. Do it. Last year, are you understanding the things? Are you understanding what I'm explaining? Ma'am? Are you understanding what I'm explaining you? Mom, once again, explain me, ma'am. You want me to explain again? Yes, ma'am. Only that this one, one ma'am. Okay. Otherwise, you have understood the previous ones? Yes, ma'am. Sure? Yes, ma'am. Don't hesitate in asking, bache. If you have not understood, please ask. I have understood, ma'am. Okay. See now for 3.8, I'll show you. See 3.8 in fraction form, you can write this. There is decimal point after one place from here. Okay. So you can write it as 38 by 10. Yes. This much you know? Yes, ma'am. Now you can reduce it to lower form. You can divide it. You can take the HCF of these two numbers. See, this is even number. These two are even numbers. Yes, so these ma both can be divided by two. Rishit, please ex let me explain. Okay. We can divide this by two. Two. How much will give you? 38. Ma'am, 19. 19, right? 19. Then 5. Now okay. this becomes 19 by 5. 19, by 5. 19 and 5 cannot be reduced yes, further with know. one number. Yes, ma'am, I got the same answer. Yes, Lassia, understood? Lassia, you understood? No, ma'am. 3 by uh, 3.8. Huh? Is it after that um, reducing from 6 by, 6 by 10, ma'am? No? 38 by 10, you got, no? Now, yes, you can see here 38 is even number. You know what are even numbers? Odd numbers? Yes, I know. So, 38 is even number. 10 is also even number. Okay? So, I can just reduce it by 2. I can divide both the numbers by 2. Uh, yes, ma'am. I have to divide these numbers by such a number with which both are divisible. Okay? I take the HCF of 38 and 10. So, the HCF means the highest common factor. So, I have to take that number with which both numbers are divisible. I cannot take different different numbers for the two, both. Okay? Oh, I have to take five. one number with which both numbers are divisible. 38 is divisible by 2 and 10 is also divisible by 2. When oh, I divide 10 by, by 2, I get 5. When I divide 38 by 2, I get 19. 
Okay, so in the numerator, I have 19 now, and in the denominator, I have 5 now. 5. Now, 19 and 5 cannot be reduced further. Yes, ma'am. Means 19 by 5 is the answer, ma'am. Okay. 19 by 5 is the answer. This is the lowest form. Lowest form means after which you cannot reduce it any further. Okay, okay. that is the lowest. Understood okay. now? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Understood. Now, now Lassia will do. show me for 6.4. Lassia, do for 6.4. 6. Reduce it to lowest form. And can I okay. do for uh, 2 and 2.4? 2. 2. 2. Uh, Charvik, you show me for 13.7. What have you got for 13.7? And Sritesh, you show me for 21.2. And then what about me? I'll give you some. I'll give you some. Okay. Mama, I did the, next the all answers. Mama, I got 106. Okay, great. Very good. Mama, I have a doubt, man. Tutu. Even number two. Yes. Mama, Lassia, here, please uh, mute yourself. Okay. Mama, here 137 is odd number. So like if we divide it by two also, like we'll get an odd number left over. So what will we do for that odd number? You are talking about 13.7? Yes, ma'am. Uh, what is that? What is your answer? Tell me. Odd, uh, I'm like, I'm still doing, but uh, mom, it's an odd number, but we are doing with two. So, like, if Haan, we do so two, that's 137. Uh, so, leave it here only, no? 137 uh, by 10. Okay, that's it. Okay. 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 And for this, Sritesh, what did you tell me about this? Mom, I got 106 by 5. Very good. 106 by 5. Very good. Lassia, what did you get for 6.4? 6.4 means I got um, 32 by 5, ma'am. Okay, good. Great. Okay, now moving to question number 6. Express the following as centimeter using decimals. Now you have to convert this to centimeters. Okay, this is in millimeters. So, 2 millimeters will be how many centimeters? Ma'am, 0 0.02. Uh, one centimeter is how? Ma'am, 1 centimeter. 10 millimeters. 10 millimeters. Millimeter. So, it's... Exactly. Okay. Uh, so, I'm writing here 1 centimeter is 10 millimeters. 10 millimeters. So, 2 Ma millimeters will be how many centimeters? 0 0.2. 0 yes, 0 .2. I will divide 2 by 10. So, I get 0 0.2. 2 centimeters. Right. And now Soumya will tell me thirty millimeter will be how many centimeters? Soumya. Yes, ma'am. Yes, tell me quickly. Thirty millimeters to centimeters. Hurry up, Soumya. Soumya is there. Yes, ma'am. Yes, tell me then. When you convert this to centimeter, see from millimeter is a smaller unit. When you are moving to a bigger unit, you divide. Okay, so in this case, you will divide this by 10. I'm Rishan, moving from Rishan, a smaller Rishan. unit to a bigger unit. No, Rishan, wait for some time. Okay. Okay, so you will divide this by 10. This will give you 30 by 10, which is equal to 3 centimeters. Okay. So, Amya, understood? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so I'm going to tell you this 16 millimeter. Ma'am, which one? 116 millimeter. Last year, you be ready with 162 millimeter. I will ask you for this. So, I'm going to tell me for 116 millimeter. Convert yes, this to centimeter. Oh. One hundred sixty-two. Okay, ma'am. Ma'am, uh, eleven point yes, six. Eleven point six centimeters. Eleven point six centimeters. Okay. Uh, Rishit, tell me for four centimeter, two millimeters. Ma'am, it's four point two. 
Centimeter. Now see, four is already in centimeters. You just yes. have to convert two millimeter to centimeter. So when you yes. convert two millimeter to centimeter, this becomes zero point two. So this becomes four plus zero point two, which is equal to four point two centimeters. Yes. Okay. You just have to convert one part of it. This is already in centimeters. Okay. Last year, tell me for one hundred sixty-two millimeter. 162 millimeter is how many centimeters? Ma'am, one minute, ma'am. I'm not prepared. Sorry. Tell me now fast. Okay, ma'am. Ma'am, can I do the last? Okay, sir. I think that's Ashut. No? Okay, Ashut. 8.3 centimeter. 8.3. Ma'am. Very good. Yes. Ma'am, is it 16.2? Uh, it's 16.2. Okay. Okay. Very nice. Okay. So I'm hoping that you all are understanding the concept. Yes, ma'am. Are you all understanding? Yes, yes ma'am. Okay. Good. If you have any doubts, please ask. Okay. Okay, ma'am. Okay, ma'am. Okay, now this one is, let's see question number seven. Between which two whole numbers on the number line are the given numbers line? Which of these whole numbers is nearer the number? Okay, now this is given. See, this is the number line given to you and some numbers are given in decimal points. So you have to say, find out uh, these decimal numbers are closer to which number? So that means... Now, if I say zero, it lies between which two numbers? Now, suppose if I take an example of this 0 0.8. So, where it does the 0 0.8 lie in this one. number line? Between 0, zero and 8 lies between 0 and 1. Okay? So, 0.8 lies, lies between 5 and 6. 5.1 uh -huh, lies between 5, 5 and 6. six. Huh. Okay. Ashwath, you tell me where does 6.4 lies? I can't understand. Um, sorry. See, you have to uh, tell me between which two number this decimal number lies. 0 0.8 lies between which two numbers? Between All 0 and... 0 and 1 they are saying, um, but why... But why means, see, 0 0.8 lies between 0 and 1. When you start from 0, the first point, you have you seen a scale? You have markings of... Oh, okay, okay, okay ma'am. I understood. I understood, ma'am. So there are 10 lines in, in between. See your scale. You must be having your scale with you. Yes, There are 10 that... small lines. That, that, that one small line is 1 millimeter. Okay, okay, so that starts from 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Then comes 0 0.8. So that means 0 0.8 is somewhere here. Okay, so okay, that means 0 0.8 lies between 0 and 1. Similarly, okay, if I am given, similarly, now see the next one 5.1. If I am given, now 5 is here. 0 0.1 means this is 1.1. Yes, ma'am. Is it? So that means it lies between 5 and 6. 6. Now, if I talk about 2.6, 2.6 lies between 2 and 3. 2 and 3. Yes, ma'am. 2.6 will be somewhere here. Okay. Yes, Where will 6.4 lie? 6.4. 6 and 7 lies between okay. 6 and 7. Seven. Okay, Ashwat, tell me where does nine point one lies? Ma'am, nine point one, nine and ten. Very good. Okay, Sritish, tell me where does four point nine lies? Ma'am, four point. Four point nine. Ma'am, between four and five. Between four and five. Okay, that was. Seven. I hope you all have understood now. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Yeah, okay. Now sh show the following numbers on the number line. Now please make a number line in your notebook and represent these points on the number line. Every... the time is up. 
Oh, the time is up. Never mind. We'll continue it in the next class, right? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Bye, ma'am. Yes. Okay, ma'am. Please practice. Okay. Practice this. Okay. Bye, bye. Thank you, ma'am. Bye, ma'am. Bye, ma'am. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye, ma'am. Bye, bye. 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 Bye, bye.